Bonjour mes amis. Welcome to my channel, The French Station, the right stop for learning French. My name is Vignesh, your teacher and friend. I'm very thrilled to help you on your French learning journey and to make the language fun and easy for you. In this video, let's move ahead with the exercises from lesson 5. We will make a note of the answers in this Word document and the link is in the description below. The first exercise Complete les phrases avec les mois ou les saisons données. We need to complete the sentences using the months or the seasons given in the options. The first one, au mois de dash, il fait chaud en Inde. In the month of dash, it is hot or warm in India. Uh, two op three options are given here, décembre, été and May. Um, so, since they've used the word moi, oh moi the, we can write May as the answer. In the month of May, it is hot in India. The second one, on dash, il neige. So, options, été, summer, avril, april, hiver, winter. The correct answer is hiver. The third one, j'aime bien la France, au oh dash, autumn, printemps, été. I like France very much uh, during dash, so um, autumn, uh, spring season and summer season. It looks like we can write any answer, but if you carefully take a look at this uh, word AU, we've already discussed that we use the word AU only in front of pronto, spring season. Because if you want to say during uh, autumn or uh, in autumn, during summer or in summer, we need to use the word EN. We use the word AU only for pronto. So the uh, most suitable answer in the, for the third one is pronto. Let's move ahead with the fourth one. Au mois de dash, il fait show en Australie. In the month of dash, it is hot in Australia. So the answer is décembre. The fifth one, la mousson en on, commence au mois de dash, il pleut. The monsoon in India starts in the month of dash, it rains. The answer is juillet. The monsoon season starts in the month of July. The second exercise, complétez les phrases avec le verbe faire. So using the verb faire, we need to complete the blanks. The first one, qu'est-ce que tu dash? So the answer should be, qu'est-ce que tu fais? Faire is an irregular verb. In the tu form, we conjugate it as F-A-I-S. Je dash en gâteau. Je fais en gâteau. What are you doing? I am making a cake or I am baking a cake. The second one, à quelle heure nous dash no the wall? So it should be à quelle heure nous first on with no the wall. At what time do we do our homework? D'abord vous dash une promenade. So it should be d'abord vous faites une promenade. The word d'abord means at first. So at first you take a walk. You go for a walk. Ensuite on dash say the wall. Ensuite on Say the word later. Uh, let's do our uh, homework. So the word O N uh, means V, or uh, it could also mean one. This is also a subject pronoun, and uh, the verbs are conjugated in the il l form when we have the subject pronoun O N. So the answer should be F A I T. The third one, il dash de la gymnastique. So it should be il font de la gymnastique. They uh, they're going or they're doing gymnastic. Oui, mais dash attention s'il vous plaît. So here we can see that they've given a blank, but there's no subject pronoun like je, tu, il, elle. Nothing is given over here. So we need to look for other keywords. Do, do you see the word s'il vous plaît? It is in the vous form. It it means please. It's in the vous form, right? So here the answer should be pet at on. So it should be the verb faire should be conjugated in the vous form. The fourth one, est-ce qu'il fait froid? Is it cold? And um, the answer is no, il ne fait pas froid. J'ai chaud. No, it is not cold. I'm I'm feeling hot. We will learn more about this word est-ce in the coming lessons. 
uh, it means uh, is it that it is used to ask yes or no question so estil fevroa means is it cold the fifth one qui dash la cuisine over here we see the word qui so the verb should be conjugated in the il or elle form so it should be qui fait la cuisine elle font la cuisine aujourd'hui the word elle es is there so font is the right answer let's move ahead with the third exercise complete avec les adjectifs de couleur so we need to complete the blanks using the color adjectives first one il pleut it is raining le ciel est dash the sky is dash so we can say that the sky is gray uh, usually when it rains the sky is gray in color right uh, but the adjective gris should be in the masculine singular form that is because le ciel is masculine singular the second one il y a des fleurs dash dans le jardin uh, there are some flowers dash in the garden you can write any color of your choice like red yellow etc but it should be in the feminine plural form because the word fleur is feminine plural in french so we let's write jaune there are some yellow flowers in the garden the third one les cerises sont dash the cherries are dash mm, cerises is feminine plural so the answer should also be in the feminine plural form rouge the cherries are red fourth one ma voiture a dash you can write any color of your choice but it should be in the feminine singular form because the word ma voiture is feminine singular so the answer could be blanche my car is white you can say ma voiture est rouge vert which is green etc the fifth one c'est le printemps les feuilles sont dash it is the spring season so the leaves are dash of what color so we can write les feuilles sont vert the leaves are green the answer should be in the feminine plural form because les feuilles is feminine plural the sixth one le lait est dash the milk is dash in color blanc lait is masculine singular so blanc is also masculine singular here seventh one je le cheveu dash i have dash hair the word cheveu means hair it's a masculine plural word so the answer should also be in the masculine plural form let's write je le cheveu noir i have black hair for example the eighth one j'aime la couleur dash i like the dash color answer should be in the feminine singular form because the word la couleur is feminine singular so you can write any color of your choice but it needs to be in the feminine singular form so we could write bleu uh, j'aime la couleur noir j'aime la couleur uh, blanche etc the ninth one mon livre de français a dash my french book is dash livre is masculine singular so the answer should also be in the masculine singular form we can write any color like bleu blanc uh, rouge etc the 10th one au printemps le ciel est dash during the spring season the sky is dash we need to write the answer in the masculine singular form because le ciel is masculine singular so we could write bleu let's move ahead with the fourth exercise conjuguer les verbes donnés conjugate the verbs given within the brackets so all these verbs are uh, slightly irregular uh, verbs let's go through them thieu dash ces jours no jeter is given within the brackets so the answer is thieu jette you are throwing away these newspapers the word ces means these or those we will learn it in the next uh, book the second one no no dash pas les jours no jeter is given within the brackets so we need to write nous jetons we have learned that for the verb jeter uh, in the nu and the vu forms we we use only one t but in all the other forms like je thieu il elle etc we write the letter t two times the third one nous dash les livres acheter is given within the brackets so it should be nous achetons 
we are buying the books. The fourth one, il dash le kaye. So ashate is given within the brackets. The answer should be il zashe. So when we conjugate the verb ashate in the ILS form, the first letter E takes a grave accent. The fifth one, el dash le professor. Appelé is given within the brackets. For the verb appelé, we write the letter L two times except no and the wo forms. So the fifth answer should be L. Appelé le professeur. She calls the professor. The sixth one, vous dash les étudiants. Appelé is given within the brackets. So it should be vous appelé les étudiants. You're calling the students. The seventh one, Jacques et Mireille dash la classe. Comance is given within the brackets. Over here, there are two people, Jacques and Mireille. So the conjugation should be in the ILS form. Comance in the ILS form is commons. These two people, they are starting the class. The eighth one, no dash la class and commons is given within the brackets. It's a CER verb and the subject pronoun is no. So what we do is for CER verbs, when we conjugate it in the no form, we add uh, uh, a sedi accent under the letter C and then uh, add O and S. So, no common so is the answer. This letter C takes a sedi accent. The ninth one, il dash show anete, fair is given within the brackets. So, it is il fe. And the tenth one, el dash le the war, uh, fair is given within the bracket. So the answer is el fon le the war. They, they are doing the homework. Let's move ahead with the fifth exercise. Meteo negative. Write the sentences in the negative form. So using all the rules that we've learned, we need to write these sentences in the negative form. The first one, vous avez des bonbons, which means you have some candies. The negative form for vous avez is vous n'avez pas. And des bonbons, uh, over here, they is an indefinite article. So it changes to de and then we write bonbon as it is. So the answer is vous n'avez pas de bonbon. This is the rule that we are supposed to follow for almost all the sentences. So wherever there are indefinite articles like un, une or des, we need to change uh, uh, these indefinite articles to either de or de apostrophe. But when there is ethra verb in a sentence, we don't have to make any changes, right? That's what we've learned. And then um, the definite articles also will not change. So let's look at the second one. J'achète un crayon. I'm buying a pencil. The negative form is je n'achète pas de crayon. UN has changed to DE. I'm not buying uh, any pencil. The third one. Ils ont des cahiers. They have some notebooks. The negative form is ils n'ont pas de cahiers. So over here also, DES has, uh, we, we, we have changed DES to DE. The fourth one, je suis étudiant. The negative form is je ne suis pas étudiant. I am not a student. The fifth one, il y a une table. There is a table. The negative form is Il n'y a pas de table. You need to remember the negative form for il y a. We write it like this. We say il n'y a pas. So this is where we put an apostrophe in front of the letter Y. And we put the word pas after the letter A. The sixth one. Uh, il regarde le tableau. They are looking at the board. The negative form is il ne regarde pas. Le tableau. They are not looking at the board. The seventh one. Il commence la leçon. They are starting the lesson. The negative form is il ne commence pas la leçon. They are not starting the lesson. The eighth one. Le professeur donne des stylos. The professor is giving some pens. The negative form is le professeur ne donne pas de stylo. Over here. The conjugated verb is don. So we need to put ne and pa around don, but not around the professor. So ne, don, pa, 
and uh, they silo the word uh, they the indefinite article they changes to de the ninth one je mange des chocolats i am eating some chocolates and the negative form is je ne mange pas de chocolat i don't eat chocolates and uh, the tenth one ce sont des glaces au chocolat the word glass means ice creams glass au chocolat means chocolate ice creams so the negative form is ce ne sont pas and because there is an être verb over here we do not uh, change the word des to de we keep des as it is and then the rest of the sentence glass au chocolat ce ne sont pas des glass au chocolat it is not uh, chocolate uh, these are not chocolate ice creams let's move ahead with the sixth exercise répondre aux questions respond to the questions the first one combien de mois y a-t-il dans une année how many months the word combien de means how much or how many so how many months are there in a year how many months are there in a year so we know that there are 12 months in a year the answer is il y a 12 mois dans une année there are 12 months in a year the second one nomme les 12 mois de l'année name the 12 months of the year so we can write les 12 mois de l'année so the 12 months of the year are janvier january février february mars march april this is april may may month juin june juillet july août august septembre september octobre october novembre november et décembre december so these are the 12 months of the year in french we do not need to write the months in capital letters the third one combien de jours y a-t-il dans une semaine how many days are there in a week there are seven days so the answer is il y a sept jours there are seven days dans une semaine there are seven days in a week the fourth one nomme les jours de la semaine name the days of the week so we can say les jours de la semaine so the days of the week are and then we can start writing the days lundi which is monday mardi tuesday mercredi wednesday jeudi thursday vendredi friday samedi saturday et dimanche sunday the fifth one nomme les quatre saisons name the four seasons so we can write les quatre saisons sont the four seasons are l'été which is summer l'hiver winter autumn or the rainy season et le printemps and the spring season let's move ahead with the seventh exercise complete avec les expressions de faire so we need to complete the blanks with the expressions that we've learned using the verb faire the first one c'est mon anniversaire it is my birthday ma mère dash so we could write ma mère fait un gâteau my mother is making a cake so what we do is we conjugate the verb faire with ma mère that that becomes f a i t and then on gato my mother is making a cake the second one anete il dash anon e anarhabi sodit so we can write il fe show in india and in saudi arabia it, it is hot uh, during summer season the third one nous sommes dans les alpes we are in the alps uh, alps mountains no dash So Alps mountains is very popular for skiing so we could write nous faisons du ski we are skiing the fourth one elle va dans le parc elle dash 
So she goes into the park. She goes to the park. She dash. So we could write L K E promenade. She goes for a uh, walk or she takes a walk. The fifth one. Je porte un chandail. The word un chandail is nothing but a sweater. I am wearing a sweater. So it is il fait froid. It is cold. Let's move ahead with the eighth exercise. Que font-ils? What are they doing? So we need to look at the images and uh, find out what they are doing. So in the first image, these two boys are playing football. So we could say ils font du football. They are playing football. Uh, we could also write this answer using the verb jouer. For example, we can say il joue au football. So both these answers are correct and they mean the same. If you want to use the verb faire, we can say il font du football. If you want to use the verb jouer, we say il joue au football. The second one, over here we can see that uh, she is making a cake. So we, we can write El Piam Gato. She is making a cake. The third image, we can see that they are taking a walk, right? So we could say Il Pon Yin Promenade. They are taking a walk or they are going for a walk. In the fourth image, we can see that this boy is uh, completing his homework. So we could write Il Fe Se the Wall. He is doing his homework. The fifth one, uh, we could see that these two people are skiing. So we can write, il font du ski. They are skiing. The sixth one, they are meditating or uh, they are doing yoga. And there are two girls over here. So we need to write, el font du yoga. They are doing yoga. Let's move ahead with the ninth exercise. Conjuguer les verbes au présent de l'indicatif. We need to conjugate the verbs in the present tense. So the first one is commencer la classe. To start the class. So over here I will not be conjugating these verbs in all the forms. But in your notebook you need to write down all the forms like je, tu, il, elle, etc. So for example if you want to conjugate the first one in the je form. We can say, je commence la classe. So that way we need to write, tu commence la classe, il elle commence la classe, and so on. The second one, ne pas faire la leçon. Not to do the lesson. Um, over here, the verb faire is in the infinitive form. It's not conjugated, right? So we write ne and pa together. Like in front of the verb faire, you can see ne and pa. But when you're writing the answer, when you're conjugating it, you have to put ne and pa around the verb. So if you're using the tu form, for example, we need to say tu ne fait pa la leçon. You do not do the lesson. The third one, appeler un garçon, to call a boy. So if you want to conjugate this in the il elle form, we need to write il elle appel un garçon. He or she calls a boy. The fourth one, ne pas acheter de fruits, not to buy uh, fruits, not to buy any fruits. Over here also, the verb acheter is in the infinitive form. So ne pas is written together. But when we conjugate it, we need to write ne and pa around the verb. So if you want to conjugate this in the new form, it will be ne nashitom pa the fruit. We've already learned that ashate is slightly irregular. For the nu and the wu form, we simply have to remove er and ons in ez. A apart from that, we don't make any other changes. But for all the other forms, uh, like je, tu, etc., we add a grave accent over the first e. The fifth one, jeter les papiers, to throw away the papers. Let's conjugate this in the ILS or ELLES form. So that is il, elle, jette les papiers. So this way you need to conjugate all the verbs in your notebook in all the other forms also. 
Thank you so much for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel, The French Station, to get notified on the upcoming videos. Like it and share it with your friends as well. Until then, ab yanto. See you soon.